my name is Stephen Moshoki and my wife here, Gladys. And we have been married for 13 and a half years now. We are blessed with uh, uh, three children, two girls, uh, 10 and seven, and uh, a, a boy who is two years old. Uh, I attended a, a meeting where Pastor M was talking about uh, Free the Future campaign. I was not so sure <laughs> what he really want, wanted us to do at the time. But what I got and what I understood even from, from my reading of the scripture in Ikwa, um, you know, just giving a month's salary. And uh, I also picked pledge cards. I think I, I, see, I mentioned it in passing. Can you mention it? Yes, you did. <laughs> just, just in passing. Yes, yes. Yeah. But I, I really wasn't so sure whether we would do it. Yeah? One, because we are a one-income uh, stream family, so that I'm the one who's uh, out there doing, all, um, doing the earning. And uh, my wife is a stay-at-home mom. Um, so uh, I was not so sure. Come <laughs> on, we'll be able to give our man's salary. As you said, he came home with the forms mentioned, but we never got to sort of sit down and discuss it as as a family. But now, come beginning of the year, Pastor M in the service, we got to hear about it, and then. Um, I personally got to hear about it for the first time then and then I think I also stayed for a week uh, pondering over it, thinking and wondering what uh, January salary is, is, is a tricky affair <laughs> because we are, we are coming from December and then of course there are bills to be paid and I'm thinking um, at least in Gengoja Feb or March but uh, I, I thought over it through the week and um, we had, he had just got his job, I think, last year, September. And uh, we were just trying to stabilize financially. And uh, it, it felt like the way God gave Abraham Isaac and then a few, after some kidogo times, you know, sacrifice your son. And uh, here we are, God, you just gave us this job. And uh, now you want our January salary. And uh, it's tricky because... If you had two streams of income, it would have been easier. You give yours, we survive on mine, the next month we exchange. But I I thought over it and I think we we got to pray over it and I told him, you know what? Um, let us just put our faith into it, into action. We don't know how we are going to do it, but uh, let's just go ahead and do it. And um, of course it was not easy. It was one of those decisions that you make and you're thinking, oh my God. Serious. Are we even serious? Because it's not like we even have savings to fall back to. I mean, we, we are just coming from a season where we didn't have, he didn't have a job, I also didn't have a job. So it was kind of tough. And uh, once we made that, that decision, I remember we sat, prayed about it, and uh, we told the Lord, you know what, you said it. We are here for us, it's our very first, we've never done something like this, but um, we shall do it. I remember the time came, and um, we did it. And so my thinking was for us to give a one month's pay, mm. we cannot do it in one month because Kutakwana, uh, 30% goes to the government, mm. then there will be 10% that has to be given to God because tithe is a must. We have mm. to give uh, tithe a uh, 10%. So when you add the two, it's like 40%. Mm. So we agreed uh, we can only give a maximum of 60% in January. So that's what we did. We said we'll give 60% in January and the other 40% we uh, purpose to give in February. When salary hit the account, the first thing we did was just to give our tithe first. And then the rest of it, we sent it <laughs> for the Free the Future campaign. And that is exactly what we did. And it was an amazing feeling at the time because we shared, I uh, just sent her a message of the, 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 the confirmation message that I have, I have, I have done it, you know. Ooh, 60% day in the end. <laughs> Yeah, and now we look forward to February, the other 40%. Yes. I got some opportunity to travel with work, and uh, from this opportunity to travel, we were able to get some uh, allowances. I think we just saw God in practicality of it coming through, came the trips, and out of the trips, I remember there's one that came through. We looked at the money that um, it brought in, we were like, what? I mean, the... the, the the, the, the beauty of it is, what we can say is that the Lord gave us far and above 
the amount that we had given that month i mean we just had a we had a month of bliss we can say we lived so well so i think for us it's just to encourage people that uh, just go for it do it i mean you cannot outgive god yes and we look forward even to bigger testimonies yes we are the ones that pastor m always says that you know when the food has already been put in place we featured then we featured yeah because we, <laughs> we joined mavuno in 2021 yes. Yeah, but we are glad to be part of and parcel of this family. And it is our prayer that as many as will hear this and watch this, our story, that they will be encouraged, that we'll be able to in, indeed pledge and be able to give. And remember that it is God that we are giving unto. It's not We are not doing it uh, for any other sake. We are doing it for God so that God can be glorified. And at the end of it all, that our Free the Future campaign that we are running at Hill City will be able to free even uh, that debt that we are having even at Hill City.